This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm for car accidents and negligent security cases. Call Joe at 239-337-1191. And by Lee Health. Happy to welcome Ann Munville, a nurse here at Florida Department of Health in Charlotte County to the show. Ann, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, it's good to get you here. You do one of the most important jobs in the world. It's taking care of people. And uh, we're so glad to get you here. Well, thank you for having me. What does a, what, what's your role here with the health department? Well, um, I'm a registered nurse here with the health department and I run a program called Growing Strong Families. This is um, a program unique to Charlotte County Health Department in that um, I'm a registered nurse and I provide home visits to young families. So really? the emphasis is on, um, on increasing the health of young families, improving health outcomes for young families. How do you define young families? Uh, young families, I, I help people prenatally up until age five. And actually um, this past year, we've sort of expanded our mission uh, because uh, to ex extend to uh, people with opioid addictions because of the opioid epidemic in our community mm -hmm. and actually in the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. so, I've been hearing a lot about that. Yeah, I do outreach to our local um, methadone clinic. And along that process, you have education material for people. You have um, uh, uh, pamphlets and booklets that you can give to them. Why don't you hold up one and tell us, just get, talk about one of them. And then, yeah, and then. this is, um, when I go into the home, um, I, when I'm educating people. Turn um, this way. Oh, I'm sorry. Right there, right there, Turn. fine. Keep okay. talking. Um, we use books like this that parents can interact with. I've got a book like that, or uh, this is actually a coloring book. And so they hit on topics like, mm. for instance, if I help people with breastfeeding, this is something that a mother can read to her child while she's breastfeeding um, to help the child understand what the mother is doing. Excellent. Now, so you, I noticed you have like a wide range of books that people can get. And uh, now you say when you go into their home, but can the average person who's watching the show, if they want to get their hands on one of those books, how could they get their hands on one of those books? Uh, well, the books are can be purchased. There are a number of ways that you can purchase them, but Noodle Soup is one of the organizations that we use. Okay. The What does it do for you personally to know that you uh, helping people to a healthier lifestyle, particularly the babies? Well, I used to be a hospital nurse. I was a maternal mm -hmm. newborn nurse, mm -hmm. and um, after I got out of the hospital setting, I, when I was in the hospital setting, I really realized that there was a need in the community for some follow-up for people for young families. In particular, um, my interest, I'm very passionate about breastfeeding, and I'm lactation certified, and I noticed that um, some people would have difficulty with breastfeeding in the hospital and there was nobody really to back them up once they got home. So um, that's a, a big thing that I do here. I co collaborate with um, WIC um, in-house here, the Women and Children's Services, and also with Bayfront Hospital to provide breastfeeding support for people when they go home. I can do pre and post feed weights and, and actually have had a lot of success with that with improving long-term breastfeeding rates and actually for even helping women maybe that weren't successful in the hospital to be continue uh, breastfeeding post-delivery. What are some ways you promote public health with the program? Well, um, public health is actually about uh, preventive. It's, it's like um, preventing illness, mm -hmm. not treating the illness. So um, by raising people's health literacy or their knowledge of and understanding of how to take care of themselves and things that are important to their health, um, you, can prov you can have healthier outcomes. Like a, a simple example would be during pregnancy as part of my program, I can bring certain vaccines that are important for pregnant women right into the home free of charge, like the flu vaccine or the Tdap vaccine. These are vaccines that um, the baby will not be eligible for getting until the flu till six months of age or the Tdap till two months of age. And so by providing the vaccine to the mother, the baby is automatically getting immunity and it can help um, keep the child healthy post-delivery. What are some ways you measure how successful your program is? Um, well, uh, part of the way I measure it is by the, the, I guess the response of the customers and the number of clients that I've had. Um, in, since um, it, this past year, I've served 85 families. 
um, and I've provided over 300 home visits. So with these families, um, because this is all client-driven, it's client-driven care, it, um, not every person has the same needs. So some people I'll see a couple of times and other people I've been seeing for three years because I can do developmental screening on the children when they get older. Mm -hmm. But um, a big success we've had this year is with the outreach to the methadone clinic. Um, a lot of people, um, we've done education. I'm, I'm also um, a secretary for our Substance Exposed Newborn Task Force. You, your viewers may not be aware that in Charlotte County, um, we have a community partnership that has formed the Substance, Substance Exposed Newborn Task Force to address the opioid epidemic uh, because our, our neonatal intensive care, the, the number of children that are in the NICU because of substance exposure to opioids ranges anywhere from, you know, like 8% to 55%. And so um, we have a collaborative um, with other organizations, and we've actually been able through a United Way grant to hire a navigator advocate that goes into, the, um, connects with the families right from the get-go to help improve outcomes for the family. The opioid crisis has had a tremendous impact on how we go about delivering health care now, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Yes, it has. And um, with my outreach to the opioid, um, to the methadone uh, clinic, we have a medication-assisted treatment program here in Charlotte County that's the main headquarters, it's called PAR, Operation PAR. Um, and I do weekly to bi-weekly outreach there to try and connect people. Really, I see myself as an ambassador from the health department, and so I connect people to, to services, whether it's for um, vaccinations. I've de developed a memorandum of agreement with Operation PAR, and since June I've been able to give out 64 vaccines to people at the clinic, vaccines like for um, hepatitis A or hepatitis B or the flu vaccine. So by doing this, this is true um, public health because you're helping people to be ha healthier in the long run and preventing um, long-term expensive costs that would be incurred if people were to come down with hepatitis A or the flu uh, or uh, pertussis whooping cough. How does one tap into your program? Does it come from a referral or they make a phone call? How, how, how does the average person get to? Well, that's a good question. I get referrals uh, in-house uh, from the WIC, uh, WIC offices that's here in our building, also from family planning services. But I also get referrals uh, from other agencies like Healthy Start, Healthy Families, Bayfront Hospital, um, and um, our navigator advocate, who is our uh, liaison with uh, the deals with the substance exposed newborn families, and uh, Baker Center Early Learning Coalition, we actually have um, a wonderful uh, collaboration. Um, my I program see. has a good collaboration with outside agencies. Well, we're fortunate to have you in the community. Well, thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, as the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Ann and all the fine people here at the uh, Health Department uh, of Charlotte County who are doing it. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching Lee Pitts Live. Of course, I'm Lee Pitts, the host of Lee Pitts Live. We're here at the Holiday Inn Airport in Fort Myers, and I want you to continue to watch Lee Pitts Live on television, on YouTube, and of course, listen to us on radio. But to get all of your shows to come right to you, just click on that subscribe button right there, and Lee Pitts Live will come right to you, your time, your way. That's Leap It's Live.